Hi friends, I'm Nicholas Acciani. Let's go backstage. <laughs> Here in America, we use imperial units, which means we're in feet, inches, and yards. That is not in order. Inches are smaller than feet, but it also means that things are multiples of threes and twelves and a bunch of different numbers. To help us draw in scale, we use what is called a scale ruler. This one particularly is an architect scale. It has three sides. There are six sets of dimensions on each. And when you look at it for the first time, it might seem a little daunting and a little scary as to exactly how to use it because there's so many numbers all over the place. So we are going to take a look at it and decipher how to use a scale rule. Mine is a nice metal one. The plastic ones, they get chipped, bent, they break. So I have a nice metal one because it lasts longer. So let's take a look at this first side and we look at the top. This is our regular inches. I'm gonna put images of these up there because that's gonna be easier to see than my actual scale rule. But if you face that one side to you, the top of it looks like a regular ruler, zero to 12. Let's use it as that. Now, if you look at the bottom, all the way to either side, it says 3 30 seconds and 3 16 This is telling you for every 3 16 of an inch that we draw using this scale, that equals one foot. So that's what these numbers all the way on the side on all three sides and all six points tell you. So the one that I use the most on this ruler, it's the green side when they're color coded. That's very helpful. The one inch, the half inch, the quarter inch, and the one eighth inch. So let's talk about half inch scale and quarter inch scale. That's what we use the most. So if you look at the one inch and the half inch side, starting with the half inch side, whenever you are measuring a line that already exists, you are going to start at zero. We are going to ignore all the little lines to the right. You're just going to go to zero and you're going to go in towards the ruler. Look for the ascending numbers. Zero, the next number is 10 then the next number is 2 then you have 9 so that line that the 0 is on you notice that the 10 is a little bit lower so that 10 is not a part of this half inch scale measurement you got to look in line where the numbers are and if you look at where the 1 is that 0 that is lower and lines up with that 10 so that 10 is a part of the 1 inch scale that 2 right here next to the 10 is a part of the half inch scale so that means from that 0 to 2 is 2 feet that 10 notice how that's exactly in the middle of that 0 and 2 so that marks one foot. They've made these pretty smartly by putting one inch and half inch scale. Half inch is exactly a half of one so that they can mark it clearly, the half inch scale by evens, two, four, six, eight, ten, right? And that line in the middle that's a part of the one inch scale is all the odd numbers. Look at the eighth inch and quarter inch side. Notice that that zero right next to eighth inch is above, a line above all those other numbers. And the line for zero for quarter inch is in line below all those numbers. That first number in line with that zero on the eighth inch is four. So that's four feet. So there are three marks in between the zero and a four. One, two, three, and then you have number four. And it ascends up that way. Quarter inch, that zero, those lines that are in line below, they ascend from left to right as opposed to the eighth inch, which ascends right to the left. Now, how about when things are like two feet, six inches? Those little lines on the outside of the zero that I told you to ignore, those actually help you find your inches. If we had all those little tiny lines going all the way across, this would get really confusing really fast. So for inches, you are going to, if we look at the half inch section, notice from zero to the edge of that is equal to one foot, the three longest lines splitting it into quarters. So what's one quarter of a foot? Three inches. So you have three inches, six inches, nine inches. That's great. Now let's get a little bit smaller. Notice from zero to three, the next longest lines split it up into thirds. So each of those is equivalent to one inch. And then for half an inch you can go even smaller from zero to one there is a line that splits it in half so in half inch scale you can get down to half an inch if you look at quarter of an inch scale notice that we got it split into quarters again and then those split into thirds but it starts to get so small we don't have half an inch look at eighth inch scale it splits it in a half and then the thirds so each of those lines the tiniest lines is equivalent to two inches we're getting so small that we can't really measure fractions of an inch anymore but we can still measure two inches so that's how you figure out how to use the scale rule. Hopefully that was clear. Hopefully you learned something and I will see you next time. Bye. These videos are made for educational purposes. Hopefully you learned something or it reinforced something you may already know. Now, this is just one way to do this and there may be other ways to do what I've explained in this video and I would love to hear about those ways in the comments. Just remember to be kind as you share your own experiences and expertise on the subject. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe and hit that little bell button to be notified of the next video.